The latest, Russians still waiting for first Winter Games gold. South Korea, app, the latest on the Pyeongchang Olympics, all times local. 520p. The Winter Olympics are more than halfway done, and the Russians still don't have a gold medal. It's an unpleasant experience for the nation that finished top of the medal table in Sochi with 13 gold medals though two have since been stripped for doping. But then again, the country of Russia is not here. On the wall of the Olympic athletes from Russia delegation office in Pyongyang is a board with Russian medal winners photos attached under pictures of gold, silver and bronze medals. The gold column is empty. Like most of the world, Russia counts gold medals first in the standings. So to sit behind gold-winning Belarus and Britain is galling. Dozens of Russian athletes weren't invited to the Games because the International Olympic Committee said it couldn't be sure they hadn't been part of doping schemes. 4.55p Norway has continued its dominance in cross-country skiing by winning the gold medal in the men's 4x10 km relay. The team of Didrik Toenseth, Martin Johnsrud Sundby, Simon Hegstad Kruger and Johannes Hosflot Klabo won the race in 1 hour, 33 minutes and 4.9 seconds to beat the second-place Russian athletes by 9.4 seconds. France captured the bronze. Norway has now won five of the eight gold medals awarded in cross-country at the Pyeongchang Games, and 11 medals overall. The record for most gold medals in cross-country in a single Olympic Games is 13 set by the Soviet Union in Calgary in 1988. Kruger battled back from 24.5 seconds down at the midway point of the race to give Norway the lead. Klabo took it from there, pulling away from Russian anchor Denis Spitsov in the final one and one half kilometers to deny the Russians their first Pyeongchang gold medal. Sweden had won this event in the previous two Olympics but finished in fifth place more than two minutes behind. 4.30p. Some three dozen figure skaters in the Pyeongchang Games are competing for nations other than the ones where they were born. There is a Russian skating for Australia who at first thought she was headed to Austria. Two Americans are ice dancing for host South Korea. Another American is competing for Brazil. Four members of the Israeli team are not natives. Then there are pairs and ice dancing teams where the members are from two different countries and competing for a third. Sometimes such pairings fail because the skaters are at different levels, and there can be language difficulties. But they can also work beautifully, Alyana Savchenko of Ukraine and Bruno Masset of France won gold for Germany in the pairs competition. Zero.
Ted Ligti's defense of his Olympic giant slalom gold medal has ended with a 15th place finish behind Austrian Marcel Herscher. Ligeti knew he hadn't turned in the best opening run, but what he couldn't tell as he was heading down the hill was just how poorly he'd done. The American says he was really surprised when he saw his time. He says, it didn't feel like I crushed it, before adding with a chuckle, but it didn't feel two and one half seconds bad. Ligeti lost more ground to Hersher in the second leg Sunday and ended up tied for 15th place, 3. 21 seconds slower than the winning time of 2 minutes, 18.04 seconds. Ligeti says it was a really bad day and time to not ski up to the level I wanted to. 3.30 p. Sabrina Zollinger scored on a power play in the first period and Switzerland beat Korea 2-0 in a classification hockey game after rooting the Koreans 8-0 in their Olympic opener. Janine Alder made 19 saves for the shutout Sunday, with Florence Schelling getting a day off after playing in a 6-2 loss to the Olympic athletes from Russia in the quarter-finals. Evelina Razeli also scored for the Russians, who won bronze in Sochi. They will play either Sweden or Japan for their final slotting Tuesday. Shin So Young made 51 saves, and the Koreans also killed three of four penalties. Shin gave up a hat trick to Alina Muller in the first period of the opener against Switzerland, and she said she felt a little pressure. 3:15 p. Patrick Hager scored in regulation and again in a shootout as Germany beat Norway 2-1 to wrap up group play at the Pyeongchang Olympics. Danny Ausdenbirken made 28 saves and stopped all three shots he saw in the shootout Sunday. Germany opened the scoring on a power play in the second when Hager took a pass from Dominic Gaon and stuffed the puck past go altender Lars Haugen. Norway tied the game in the third period. Both teams played cautiously in overtime, with Norway failing to capitalize even with nearly two minutes on the man advantage. Haugen made 36 saves but didn't stop a shot in the shootout. Both teams face elimination games Tuesday to get into the quarter-finals. 2.55 p. Marcel Herscher has won the Olympic men's giant slalom. It's his second gold medal at the Pyeongchang Games. The 28-year-old Austrian star extended his first-run lead to win by a huge margin of 1.27 seconds over hard-charging Henrik Kristofferson of Norway. Kristofferson rose from 10th fastest in the morning. Bronze medalist Alexis Pincherault of France finished 1. 31 behind Herscher's two-run time of 2 minutes, 18.04 seconds. Herscher can complete a sweep of three individual titles in his best event, 
the slalom, which is scheduled for Thursday. Hersher also won the Alpine Combined Tuesday. Pincher all took silver in that race. Two fifty P. Norway's Oystein Bra Aten has captured the gold medal in ski slope style at the Pyeongchang Olympics, far out distancing American Gus Kinworthy, who failed to land any of his three runs and came in last. Bra Aten edged out American Nick Goper, who added a silver medal to the bronze he won four years ago in Sochi. Canadian Alex Bewley Markham took the bronze. The buzz for this event swirled around Kinworthy, who came out as gay about two years after capturing the silver medal in Russia and has since become a strong voice in the LGBT community. With family and boyfriend Matt Wilk is watching. Kenworthy bobbled all three runs in the finals. After the last one, he shrugged, shook his head and said, it's okay, to the TV cameras before walking off the course.